Hello everybody, this is Kickball Jedi playing Seven Days to Die Undead Legacy mod. This is the Baton Man series. And basically I was cringing in petrified fear all night long in this attic. I did loot everything. And uh, now that the night's over, we'll go ahead and loot everything down here. I'm a little bit encumbered, but not too worried about it. And maybe I find some steroids. Vitamins, but no steroids. So we got in the big box. Good to have some ammo. Um, in the gun bag up there, up in the attic, I did find a pipe shotgun, which, if you can, well, I, there's really no comparison between the pipe shotgun and the and the um, pipe shotgun and the. Uh, Uh, scrap shotgun. The now you could do a comparison between the uh, scrap shotgun and the pump shotgun. Uh, no, I'm sorry, the um, double barreled shotgun. Which the scrap shotgun has three shots, the double barreled two. So you'd want to you know compare those damages and see. Which one would benefit you the most? Almost done. That's it, nice. Okay, got all that. Got all this. Got all that. I do think there may still be some stuff down in the um, down in that pit down there, but um, I think I'll just let that go. I'm gonna go by my house and drop off some stuff so I'm not cumbered. A lot of zombies around here. I guess they've been hanging around all night while I've been up there. Been being very, very quiet. Oops. I heard that. Really don't care for him very much. The two zombies I dislike the most. God damn, he's running. <sighs> the only thing worse than a disturbed or than a tourist is a feral or a sprinting tourist. Good time to get foggy. Sort through this stuff. I, I did notice I picked up um, some baton parts. Now, you know, most parts. Well, in in Undead Legacy, you 
do need parts. Parts are used to upgrade um, items of that type. So if you get baton parts and you have a, say, a stun baton to upgrade it, I have everything I need for a mechanics bench? That's odd. Okay, what do I need for the artisans? I need one break. You know what, while we're here, let's see what it would take to upgrade that backpack. Ooh. It would take a lot of stuff, but we get it up to G. I'm pretty good on everything except the leather, which I actually have a bunch more leather downstairs. I'm gonna do it. Backpack right now, our maximum weight is 101. Let's add that. And now we're at 126. Very nice. Oh, I did grab another couple of storage boxes. And after a night on the town. What? I noticed that where that house was, there was some area over here I hadn't explored yet. I'm going to take the long way back to the uh, trader. for the artisan schematic and I'm sure to actually make the artisan bench. That's a good find. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. So that book, when you mine a stack, I don't know if it's 6,000, 10,000, whatever it is, when you mine a certain quantity of items, um, you can then put them into a stack, which you get XP for doing that, and it's a significant amount of XP. Hopefully I'll get a chance to do that and show you how much that can really help you. Yeah. Okay. Arrows have a better chance of knocking down targets. That's a good one. You know, I was complaining about how these small towns don't have the bookstores and stuff. I guess one way they attempt to make up for it, oh, one way they attempt to make up for it is they um, have a lot of mailboxes because of all these um, individual homes. So can I go a little bit further? Wait, what? I that chicken survive that. Oh, hello. A little backpack stuck to a wall.
Okay, just seeing what else is out here on the outer edge of this neighborhood. And not much. That's a pretty big house, I guess. So yeah, when I'm using the baton, you know, of course the power attack uh, does more damage. So when you right click on it, it you can feel that solid. It does twice as much dam damage than the regular melee. But when you swing it regularly, it uses so little stamina. It's almost like you could probably swing it twice quickly. So you, you know, you get two swings at 16 each instead of you know, one power swing at 32, which adds up to the same thing. Let's try my new arrow attack. Oh, how did that miss? Those misses really cost me. Alright, so one thing I'm going to do here, since I've already got my intelligence bumped up to 3 out of 10, I'm going to take the Daring Adventurer. So even when I turn in this mission, I'll have an extra reward option. And plus it gives me more dukes for each successful mission. Just something else I wouldn't mind. It's mighty cool. Okay, here we are at the trader. Head on in. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Here's your pay for a job well done. Oh, man. Uh, feast or famine, right? Well, that's interesting. I was actually just about to grab whichever one, but well, I guess it really doesn't matter as far as the stats. It does on the value. Look at that. Tier H plus two heat resist, 92. Tier G, plus two heat resist, exactly the same, 199. But I'm probably going to use that, especially since my hopes are to get out into the desert, so we'll see. All right, got to sell some stuff, and then see what options we have for buying. Okay. Don't let a zombie dog bite you in the ass on your way out. And if he does, hey, here. we'll take care of it for you. I've got a bit of a problem. Can you help me out? Okay. Be careful and try that not to get yourself killed. That's interesting. Okay. Welcome. Nope. All right. I really got to get moving. My, as I said before, my goal right now really is to get the. Uh, opening trade routes as quickly as possible. I don't seem to be doing that right now. But I guess all these zombies really aren't helping. Oh, I gotta sell that shotgun. Thing's heavy.
way. Oh, that's nice. Yay, I've got steroids. Okay, so on my way back to my base really quick. Wow, this is a big house. This is a tier one? Okay, yeah, it seems familiar. Um, but I did just realize I do not have enough brick. I really thought that that stack of bricks at that house would have been enough. But apparently not. Okay, got a little bit here. A little bit more here, okay. Come on. Just need a little more. Okay, I've got exactly just enough to make the schematic. Now I'm definitely going to need more to make the actual I'll need more to make the actual um, artisan bench but at least I have enough to make the schematic so and hopefully I have all the other things I need I didn't yeah I'm pretty sure I do oh wait I want to grab a little bit more stone I'll pass by some stone I think I do have some large stone back at the base, but I don't want to take any chances. Okay, now even with researching the artisan's table, it looks like I do have enough materials to research the uh, furnace schematic, so I'm going to go ahead and do that too. Now I probably don't have the materials I need to make all of these things, but you know, at least I can at least I can have the um, schematics ready when it's time. Alright, I actually kind of have an idea. I don't remember exactly what this house was like, but I may use strategy I used in um, Fists of Fury where I drink one of these Grandpa's Moonshine and just uh, go nuts in the place. I 
Oh yeah, I've got a whole garage full of stuff there. Now when I fall through the floor, Sorry for the distorted view. It's good to have options for stuff to cook. Iron pickaxe. No. There's one more. Oh well. Time to make this zombie protected. I think I'm in pretty good shape, even if the zombies hear me up here, there really is no way for them to get up here. So I'm going to go ahead and loot to my heart's content. Go ahead and keep running the video for today. Now I have a couple options here too, I can just keep looting until I'm encumbered. And uh, because I've got steroids now, um, but also right near my base. So if I'm encumbered, I can handle it. Now when I get the mods, I'm always happy to use them. It's only if it's the mod schematic that I'm not interested in at all, because I just don't make mods. Oh, I was going to see if that's better than the helmet I have. I don't have a helmet. Let's see how we're looking. Pretty fancy.
Okay, and the good news about cloth armor too is that you don't have to go to the repair bench to repair it with cloth. You can repair it with cloth in the field. So you should always be able to keep your cloth armor fixed up. I think the scrap armor um, with the scrap armor you'd have to be at the maintenance bench in order to repair it with scrap iron. Other than that you'd have to use a uh, repair kit. But okay here we go. Um, end of day three. Uh, a fine day, a busy day. I mean, unfortunately, a lot of it was finding the brick to make the artisan's bench, but I'm very happy to say that um, I ended up with the materials enough to make the schematic for the artisan's bench and make the schematic for the uh, furnace. So that does mean, ooh, we're gonna be on day five. If I can get the artisan's bench and the furnace made, I can actually uh, start off making my hoard base out of brick. And then, of course, if I have enough money to buy some cement from the trader, I'll be able to cement up quite a bit of it. The main hope is I can build that hoard base in the desert, which I believe is to the north somewhere further north than that airdrop because I was here when I first started and I looked north and I could see desert off in the distance and I do know just from my design when I designed this map that I, there are <laughs> several big cities it just so happened that I didn't um, spawn in to start my game near any of them I started off near this small city like I think to the south of me and to the southwest of me are the two larger cities where I started the two Baton Man series where I died. And then as far as I know, there is a large or fairly large city in the desert. Um, so I'm really hoping I can find that. And so make my horde base in the desert and, you know, pr probably since it, since the horde base and my base are going to be the same structure, start making my base in the desert and then actually start doing missions in the desert city after I finish my tier one here at least and get my tier one reward. Um, anyway, we'll see if we can get all that done between days five, six, and seven, but we're really getting there. I'm really surprised. I, I'm finding enough research data through mailboxes and uh, well ma mailboxes at homes and mailboxes in the street and uh, bookshelves in houses that I've been able to keep up a pretty steady uh, construction of my uh, my workbenches so far so so far so good all right I hope you enjoyed this uh, thank you so much for watching um, I did also post another video about a little secret spot I know of in um, the Undead Legacy Wrecked Trader, if you're not familiar with it. Uh, check that out. It's only a couple minutes long, but it could be helpful if you're not familiar with the little secret stash he has. Right. Thank you so much for watching, and everybody have a great night.